Hey everyone, I want to make some pillows. I have been thinking about this for a long time and now's the time. I'm going to make some hand tufted pillows today because I have been saving my yarn scraps for months, uh, maybe even a year at this point. I have so many yarn scraps. I often get asked what I do with my fabric scraps and yarn scraps and the answer is I have just saved them. I have just bags and bags of yarn scraps waiting to be recycled. I've been saving them because I want to make pillows and stuff the pillows with yarn. I really love wool as a resource. I think it's like a very sacred and precious material. I don't wanna waste it. I don't wanna throw it away. And I'll be making essentially wool stuffed pillows like this. This is a pillow I made as kind of like a tester. And what I really love about it is it feels very dense and it's also got quite a bit of weight to it because wool is a fairly heavy fiber. I'm excited to make some more of these and tuft some pillowcases to go around them. I just got something very exciting in the mail. The duo. If you don't know yet, Tuft the World has just come out with a low pile tufting machine that does both cut and loop with just the switch of some of the pieces. And I'm very excited to try it out. I currently primarily use the AK1 and AK2 models. And this is basically two of those in one. Thank you to Tough the World for sending me this and for sponsoring today's video. If you wanna grab yourself a duo, use code MAGIC15 for 15% off your order. All right, let's try this thing out. I think I'm gonna start by drawing out the shape I want. And then once I tuft the piece, then I'll make a pillow to fit within it. So I think I want to do like a bedroom pillow and I was thinking it would be cute if it said lovers on it. I'm just going to mock that up in Adobe Illustrator. Generally the design tool that I use to design my rugs beforehand. I can't find the cord for my projector. <laughs> I decided to wing it. What I've done is on the other side of my frame, I have drawn out the letters of the word and now I'm gonna trace over the letters on this side. That's like a little hack if you don't have a projector but find it easier to draw out your design in the correct orientation. You can draw it on the other side of your frame and then trace over it on the back. duo is super cute. It's pink, which I love. It comes ready to use the cut pile, which is perfect because I am going to make my letters cut pile and then the background will be loop pile. I'm going to start by tufting and sculpting the letters and then filling in the background. So let's get to it. First impression. It feels nice and lightweight, very comparable to the AK1 machine. It feels really smooth, it's not too loud. Really liking it. I think that this is going to turn into my new personal machine. are sculpted so now I am ready to turn this machine from cut pile to loop pile the machine does come with a bag of parts here which you get when you 
purchased your duo and included in here is a little piece that can be swapped out for the cut pile piece in the nose. So this adjustment is a little bit more involved and there's apparently a hack to avoid having to completely reconfigure the machine and that is to make a little adjustment to the way in which the scissors open and close. According to Tough the World's TikTok, I can just make an adjustment here by loosening this little screw with an Allen wrench that comes with the machine and moving this piece, there's like a small piece right here, forward. Moving it forward means the scissors won't close, which means you will be creating loops instead of cuts. You can see this part sticking out quite a bit now, and that is what we're looking for. I highly recommend purchasing a warranty. The Duo comes with a free 30-day warranty, um, but you can upgrade that, which I definitely recommend. As great as these machines are, there's always the chance that something could come up. It's not something that I'm super familiar with in terms of the mechanics. Having the Top the World warranty allows for little things that might come up to be fixed. Just a little disclaimer there. But now that this little piece is secured and sticking out, I think we're gonna have a, a loop pile. So let's give it a little try. Ah, all right, we're looping. Now I'm going to fill the background. I think I'm gonna do the back just completely loop pile as well. So let's do it. I'm sweating. Didn't get the footage I wanted to, but we are finished. So next step is to get this thing glued. I'm gonna use Robert's 3095 because I am trying to phase this out eventually, but I have quite a few buckets of it and I figured a pillow is gonna be a pretty good use for it. And then I'm just gonna place felt directly over it because these two are gonna get sewn together and I want something on the back of the glue so that the pillow itself has something easy to slide into rather than the stickiness of this glue. which I will be stuffing with wool scraps and fabric scraps. I have this old duvet cover that I don't plan on using. Now it is ready to take on a new life. I am very much a sewing novice. But what I like about this is there's already some of it sewn. So all I really have to do is cut it down to size and then and sew a few more lines. My pillow is gonna be 10 and a half by 25 and a half inches. So I'm gonna leave a half inch for inseam, round up to 26. We want 11 on this side. some of the 
corner and then leave a little bit of space for my hand to fit in. Now, once my rug is finished drying, I'm going to cut it out and basically stitch all around the edge with this inside of it. happy with how it turned out and now I just want to clean it up a little bit. I'm kind of pulling back this loop pile line by trimming some of these loops down just because I feel like they're kind of encroaching on the letter a bit and so I want to kind of create a gap between the letter and the overlap of the loop pile. So now you see we're getting a much more carved look here. between this letter and this letter and this I prefer much more we are finished that was really fun I actually have never really done a ton of sculpting on a loop pile and I think I'm gonna do more of that a couple of learning moments this pillow is super heavy which I think is a kind of cool feature. It's almost like a weighted pillow. In the future, I will probably use acrylic yarn on the outside of my wool stuffed pillows just to try to bring this weight down a little bit. I would also whip stitch in the same color as the background just because this wasn't quite the look I was going for. It doesn't look bad, but I would prefer that this was the same color as the background. I assumed that my whip stitch would kind of create a border's edge, sort of like an upholstery edge. If you know how to make that like upholstery edge around the pillow, kind of like a trim, if you have like a link to a tutorial, please comment below because I would love to try something like that out in the future. You know, I'm pretty happy considering this is my first pillow I've done, surprisingly, after tufting all these years. With all of that being said, I am super happy with how this pillow turned out. I will definitely be making more of these in the future. I'm also very excited to continue using my new favorite machine, the Duo. So thanks again to Tuck the World for sponsoring today's video. If you want to get your hands on a Duo, you can use code MAGIC15 for 15% off your order. I think this machine is going to be really great for beginners and for folks just looking to add some textural difference to their machine, whether you've got an AK1 or AK2 currently. 
I think this would be a great model to add to your toolbox. Hey, okay, that is it for today's video. Thank you for hanging out with me today, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!